Okay, we back, we back. If you've just joined us, welcome to Wavy Wednesdays. I'm your girl, just Jade. Oh, and I'm Danny. <laughs> <laughs> she was in a whole other world there. So if you've just joined us, we are joined by OT Babyface. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up? Mm. So where are you from? Like, well, the name speaks for itself. I'm from OT, Old Trafford. Hey, shout out, I'm shout out. So what do you think about like the Manchester music scene at the moment? Well, that... Danny asked me earlier, I said, it's booming, everyone's up here, everyone's making money off, well, not everyone's making money, but everyone's doing what they want, everyone's getting there, everyone's evolving, as yeah. rocks would say. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's what, getting, getting there, it's nice. Yeah. What, what do you think about, like, H becoming more mainstream and putting maybe Manny on the map again? Because a lot of my London friends are now looking at Manchester no, since right. H really blew Definitely. up. Mm-hmm. Do, you know what? do you think he's been instrumental? H has been instrumental, 100%. Mm-hmm. H is the one that's put money on the map. I'm not taking shots, I'm just saying. Yeah. H really has put money on the map, mm. definitely. Okay, that's in, that is interesting because, like, I, was, I am a fan of H, but, like, why not, like, why not Bugs here? Like, because he was doing, he was doing music for a little bit. He was, definitely. Back in the day, Bugs was the kid, you know what I'm mm. saying? And then he blew up overnight with that chip stuff. No one really ever seen him or heard from him again, you know what I'm saying? He just did his own thing, which is nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? But H really is like, I watched H go from just being a kid that was on every freestyle, every cypher that he could. Yeah. And then blew up. All them videos it. where he had that little polo yeah, in won. like the back streets. And he deserves it, yeah. definitely. He really put his work in. His work. Yeah, really. So where do you get your inspiration from then when you're making music? That's it. Is that over, put you on the spot? Man. All over. Music, when it comes to artists, people are X rated. Schoolboy Q, you know. Schoolboy's hard. Uh, do you know what? Me, I listen to more R&B than anything else. Oh, I love R&B as well. Yeah. Do, uh, Who are your favourite artists in R&B? Right now. Mm-hmm. I'm a Burnt Fires kid right now. <gasps> yes. Mm-hmm. I feel like we need them sound effects like, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I really. <laughs> I love Brent, whatever his Brent, last name Brent is. Brent Fires, El yeah. Yeah. I like a bit of everything to put there, you know. Mm, okay, I like I like that. I like mm. I like that. Because, like, Brent Fryer's fans are like, they will, you know, ride and die for him, even though he's not mainstream, but he, he is. But do you know getting what there, I mean? He's getting there, definitely. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely you know getting what? there. Flip. I listened mm-hmm. to a lot of other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Last night I was in the gaff listening to Blink 182, innit? So, <gasps> oh my so, gosh! So, I remember listening to Blink 182 when I was 16, when I was going through my little indie yeah, phase. Definitely. Like, Blink 182. I I used to listen to some like mad like rock music and stuff when I was younger. Yeah, been there, definitely. Mm. Sometimes I like when it comes on. Not it, if I'm in that mood. Maybe like I will I won't next it on Spotify. But you know you you've got to be in, I've got to be in that mood it's to want to kick music. back. It's good music. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's like feel good. So all the hip hop and R and B and all these. Yeah. Do you think that in this day and age where we've got so much accessibility to music and streaming, do you think it's even possible for us to create music that hasn't had influence from so many different types of genres. Probably not anymore. No. Not anymore. The industry's old as hell now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. isn't it? We need something new as well, don't we? We do. We've got a drill. It's not very doing. What, what I mean, we, me and Danny have had a few opinions on drill, haven't we? Mm. From our me. shows. I mean, we, we, so we spoke about how people in the drill and like who rap about drill, they kind of, they rap about the things that you know they've not necessarily come from do you know what i mean and glorifying that kind of lifestyle you know with the connotations that comes with drill and you know if you listen to it, you know what they're rapping about 100 so like i just want to know like what what do you think about See, for me drill it was all right at first when chief keith and that came out you know what i'm saying i was coming of age them times in it like 2011 so it was like big stuff for me and i loved it chief keith obviously i got dreads and all that you know what I'm saying? come on <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now these days UK drill it's got to a point where it's influencing a lot of people that it shouldn't really be influencing you know what I'm saying like not to get on that like, class stuff and all that but little middle class kids talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. putting kids in a spliff and all that it's not no stuff, yeah I hear think, that do you think it glamorises violence I wouldn't say it glamorises but if you're listening to it you're going to want to do violence after mm. definitely, definitely it's definitely at the same time at the same time a lot of old school rap that I used to listen to did the same thing for me you know what I'm saying and I can say now it's not progressive you know what I'm saying but on the flip, who am I to say that? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, so it's just one of these things. Yeah, everyone's got their different experiences. and But like Definitely. your creative process when it comes to like writing and stuff, like and like getting the beats down and stuff, because I know some people like they like to get the lyrics down and then they do the beat after. See, I don't, I don't make the beats myself. So I'll get all the beats. Like someone will send me beats or mm-hmm. raps will make the beats. Chicks might make the beat. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Sangi might make the beat. Hey. They give it to me. 
Normally I'm stoned up, yeah. So <laughs> I've seen I've quit smoking recently, but normally I'm stoned up, yeah. I write the lyrics and it's done. It don't, it don't take long to write the lyrics. A lot okay. of people take days, I don't I don't take too long. Wait, so how do you know that you've heard a sound or a beat that's just perfect and you wanna rap over it? It just sounds nice and it, it just feels a certain way. Yeah, it just yeah. gets Some gets beats the like, don't get it off. But a lot of beats. Mm. Like yesterday, I put a grime track out yesterday. I don't really do grime myself, but the beat was alright, so we did it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah. smashed it. Wait, so what was your introduction to music? Like, what was your early life with music? What kind of music and artists and genres did you hear around the house growing up? So, around the house growing up, my mum's a proper love is rock head, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I love mm. that. Okay. Oh. Sanchez and all these things, you know what I'm saying? She loves all that. But me personally, my sister used to sit and watch MTV based 24-7, you know what I'm saying? So, Jowl, all the shanty. Yeah. Nori, oh, Nori, baby. Nori, yeah. Yeah. You know all I mean? that. I sat oh. there and I was like, I want to be on the TV so mm. my sister can watch me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so that's why I started rapping. Oh, I love that. In the oh, beginning, anyway. That's so. N- oh, I really like these answers, you know. I'm really digging them. I try my best. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. As I got older, you know, me and my brother, like, it was 10 years between us, so he was grown and I was a kid. I just thought it should be just like him, innit? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Everything that he was listening to, Sidewinders, Wiley, Dizzy Rascal, mm. all these things, that was all in the gaff at the same time. So I grew up, I started doing grime when I was like seven. Leaving the assembly with grime and all these things, you know what I'm saying? So that's mad, you know. I tried my best. That's mad. So obviously you said that you wanted to be on screen so that your sister could like see definitely, you on telly. Definitely. What would have to happen for you to say, I've I've made it, like I feel successful Ooh. now? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. That. that is a good question. For real. We can come back. We can, we'll yeah, give you time think to think on it. Yeah, we'll yeah. play. We'll play readies like we was meant to before. But yeah. obviously, I'm not the best technical person. Mm. Do you want to introduce the track? Yeah, definitely. This is readies. OT Babyface, Red is produced by ROG. This is a, it's a normal, you know, everyday tune. I hope you enjoy it. It's not back. Welcome back to Drive Time with Jade and Danny. If you just tuned in, hello, welcome. Welcome. What's We've that? got a very special guest on. Yes, we do. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined by OT Babyface today. Definitely. He's been giving us nice, some interesting insights into so the life of him. Obviously, before we played Go Time, and one of time. what is such a bop. And Even though I was supposed um, to play Red Is, but. We supposed to play Red Is, we played Go Time featuring Raptor instead. Yeah. Technical mm. issues, no, no danger. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. We work, we move. We move. Yeah. And <laughs> um, there's one line in it where you say, I, pre- I practice what I preach like I'm the head of, a black, of the black church. Yeah, and on something we do here, we do something called wisdom wednesday oh yeah oh i should have harmonized yeah. with you then so oh yeah do you want to do it wisdom, wisdom wednesday, wednesday. <laughs> what is a lesson or a motto that you live by one thing if you had to say there's one thing that you hold by all the time mm. would you share it i live by day by day mm. I'm, i mean it might change it, as well it does change a lot but something that i live by day by day don't Ooh. break, don't bend, stick to your morals, mm. you'll always be right in the end. Yeah. We were just talking about that, weren't we? Yeah, just like being true to yourself. Yeah. So if if you used to give a piece of advice to somebody to like a you, younger you, for like coming up when you were doing music, when you were doing... Yeah, the younger me, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, when you were seven. <laughs> like, <laughs> what, would, what would you say to young OT Babyface? Work at it. Work at it. Just work at it. Yeah. Don't, don't fall into other things. Don't get excited by the street. Just work at it. Don't watch what others are doing as well. Do you know what I mean? Focus on you. You were listening to Dylan Benz. He's got Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Benz. Oh, Dylan I love Benz. Dylan Benz. He's like 14. You were saying he's 14. I wish I could rap like that at 14. At 14, I couldn't rap like that. Definitely. I, me and Danny always say, like, if I was, I would love to be like that confident. Because when I was 14, I don't even know. I was even thinking about... I was still at school, what, I was in year 10, 9, whatever. I was drinking on a hill in the park. We all was <laughs> in the drinking tins, like, I wish I was that productive. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. Mad stuff. Shout yeah. out to Dylan Benz. He puts Shout the work in as well. You got yeah. a funny baby face for real. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's dead sweet as well. When he was on the live, the last year that we did last year at Christmas, he was oh, like, yeah, he was God. like when people's was clapping. Was precious, yeah, because yeah, like, everyone loved him and it was like so humble, like, oh, it's thank you, thank you. I think it was the first time he was performing as well. Yeah. Like. Yeah, shout out, man. Yeah. Love the big him. kid, the big kid. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I see them on the radio he's, stuff. Yeah, he's, stuff. he's doing bits at the moment. Yeah. Listen, Dylan, it, if you're listening, get someone like Rox in your corner, get a manager, smash it, trust me. Mm. Yes, we got you, trust me, we've yeah, got you. Jay's got you. 
<laughs> Something else we also like to do on the show is we like to talk about, not controversial, but like topics where people have a lot of opinions on them and recently on my feed um something came up do you remember in 2019 the storm fifth area 50 yeah yeah yeah. area 51 yeah Yeah, 51 and then i saw something where someone was making a conspiracy theory about whether they think it was um covid was like a distraction and from things like that obviously it's nonsense but i was thinking (laughs) do you believe in aliens the big question oh yeah most definitely yeah, I think it would be naive to think there was nothing else out there. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, it, I know, like... To think that we're the only beings on planet Earth. That's right? selfish. It's a bit selfish, isn't it? Like, we can't be the only ones in the universe with... The universe, yeah, definitely. Do you know what yeah. I mean? We can't be the only ones. I mean, I've had I've had conversations with my girlfriend as well, and, and even with Danny about aliens. Like, the... the Aliens exist, but they're not what the like the yeah, media and they're not what they look like in alien me. movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what anything, I mean? It could be anything from a little organism on a different planet mm. to a little creature or something. You know what I'm saying? They're not necessarily green with web fingers and all. Yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. Like no <laughs> extraterrestrials. That's what you call them, isn't it? Extraterrestrials. Yeah, they definitely, definitely do exist. And like, I do believe in like a higher power kind of person, like kind of thing. I'd like to think so. Yeah, and like, so where do you stand on like reincarnation and like spirituality? See, in my old age, yeah, when I was a kid, in my old age, don't say old, we're we're both old, we're both 25 years young. Speak for yourself. As a kid, kid, I never really believed in all that, you know what I'm saying? I thought when you die, you die, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? But in my old age, I'm starting to believe, or maybe hope, probably a better word, Mm. that there is something else. Yeah, Yeah, hope, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, man. You know what, as well, I think I love watching documentaries about like, um, alien documentaries and people's experiences even with like UFOs and also oh, about re- and yeah and like reincarnation and it's just it's too believable for me and it's, I think we have this culture of if we can't see it it's not true yeah definitely you know I mean? and I think like how big the universe is I reckon in my mind I think there might be a whole other solar system like miles away that we can't reach with like a whole other like col- um, like it's possible definitely population of people i mean there's elon musk who wants pe- to live on mars do you know what i mean mm. so he's I don't think that's gonna happen. do you not, I, not are you not hopeful for you do you not think i don't think, oh, I don't think so either i think and um, maybe not in our lifetime but i mean the the amount of money that he's putting in to like yeah, so getting these rockets yeah, so i'm not against it but i don't i can't see it myself i'm not definitely not in our lifetime i don't think wait so do you think that man ever reached the moon oh that's so that's a whole other thing he, some some people are like, yeah, that's definitely a setup, and then because there's like things of the flag moving or yeah, not yeah, moving yeah. or whatever, and, and like, like reflections. And stuff. Yeah, because so of gravity. That, and people start talking about is the earth flat and all these things. Like, oh, I've had... I stay away from all that. Like, yeah, is it flat? It's not flat. No, it's definitely not <laughs> flat. It's definitely not. <laughs> I was having do a. It, Danny. Don't do it. Have don't you not believe heard them. Someone about um, it's the reflection of the the solar panels or whatever and it looks round oh no, my oh and there's like a dome oh my gosh no <laughs> i've enjoyed your company today Danny. <laughs> is she is she anyway. she's from me isn't she Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah there's some mad there's some mad theories about life flat earth and stuff but it's do you know what i mean it's it's too much That's for me conspiracies go too far i think yeah i mean i like i love the solar system i love i love stars i love looking at stars i like do you know what i mean i like gazing at him through his telescope and whatnot never done that anymore should do that maybe. oh it's 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 so like therapeutic if you, you can just sit and like stare and you can see loads of little things and you can see all like the star signs where the if obviously if you know where they are <laughs> and what they look like it's really it's really cute i really like it yeah right so we'll just we'll get into it because obviously hopefully we don't have any more technical difficulties so your new song with raptor go time, definitely. tell us about it tell us about go time well, sangha it's been up at art so crazy sangha hit me email with like loads of beats in it and i was like yo brother instead of hitting me messaging me like oh should we work on all these things just hit me with the beats in it and it'll get done so me and sangha got like four tunes together but then when i actually went to go link him i took raptor with me he played the beat and was like this is ours we laid it in again about 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. Go, you know what I'm saying? It's like a talent. You can just lay mm. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Like we said, they've been doing it for a long time, innit? You know what I'm saying? And me and Raps have been doing it together for a long time. So yeah. It's one of them things. Is yeah. it like a little bit of muscle memory or is it just, it just comes to you naturally because you've been doing it for Probably so many years? Both, you know? Really? A bit of both. Mm. You know what? I actually think like some of the best artwork and some of the biggest hits and stuff, they just came so naturally. You can hear in music when it, 
it was it, it, there, it was too much of a try hard. Definitely, definitely, mm. definitely. Sometimes when you hear the beat, the beat tells you what to say. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. When that happens and it all comes together perfectly, perfect. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. Happy days. So what's goal time about? Couldn't tell you. Goal Co- time. Just, <laughs> it's just one of that. It's just one of those time. vibes. Me and Raptor was in the, was in the studio. We heard the beat, we loved it. The beat was talking to us. We spoke to it and we made it. Definitely. Mm. Okay, so let's play it now. Fingers crossed 100%. it works. Shout out Raptor. Okay. Shout out Raptor on... Yeah, because it's sick. Right, let's go. Is this the right one? Look. No.